So when I started working in the tech industry, I didn't know that there was this release cycle. Basically, that means that every quarter, there's a new version of the software that's being released. And currently, it's near the end of the quarter. And so right now, we've stopped development and we focus more on actually planning for the next quarter. And that's basically the cycle that I've been following ever since I've been working here. So for the next few weeks, I'll be planning with my team for the next release of the software. And during this planning phase, there have been times where we didn't really have everything that we needed and there are still some unknowns, but still during development, we figure it out. And I think that could be applied to different areas of your life, knowing that it's okay to not have all the information, but you can basically figure it out along the way. So I got to get online for work, but later in the video, I'll share with you guys the AI tools that I've been using recently and how it's been changing how I do development now. So for coffee today, I'll be having this Calper Cow coffee. I found to be pretty good, actually, better than I expected. If you're new to Vietnamese coffee, I recommend trying this first before actually getting Vietnamese coffee. And so that's what I'll be having today. So recently I've been deciding what AI tool to use to help me code and I ended up going with Claude Code, which was around $200. Basically I'm justifying this cost to benefit ratio because as a developer, especially being like a solo developer, I need another set of eyes to look at the code that I'm writing as well as some help when I'm stuck on bugs or to help me plan out the next steps in my feature that I'm trying to build. I've also used Cursor for work as well and I've already seen how much it can do. There was a time where I was able to complete two features using just Cursor and AI to generate the code for me. And so I really understand how powerful it can be in terms of like saving time so I can work on the next thing. But I decided to go with Cloud Code over Cursor because from what I've seen online, people seem to have better results using Cloud Code. And the Cursor IDE is kind of finicky. It's not the best UI and it's not as intuitive as it could be, but it still works. But with Cloud Code, it seems like the results are a little bit better despite not having like a UI for that. But not only for code, I've been using Cloud to answer questions about finances as well as help me plan out trips. And so I definitely think it's worth the money if you're willing to put up you know $200 I feel like it'll do a lot more for you than you expected so I want to show you guys how to get started with Claude and what I built so far using it so to get started you want to install Claude in your terminal and then once you have that you can just type in Claude and that will start up Claude here next you want to initialize with a Claude MD file which gives context to your file structure as well as your project and what it's all about and you can do that with the slash init command I've already done that so as you can see on the left here is my Claude MD file it gives information about the project structure the build process key configurations functionality and some implementation creating this Claude MD file is pretty important just to help Claude understand what's going on and better help you build your project so recently I built this small project using Claude code. I didn't write any code at all. All I did was prompt Claude to create a server and some front end and that's about it. It's a YouTube web app to help me upload videos quicker. So I have it up here. You basically authenticate with YouTube and then you can type in your video title as well as the description and some keywords. After you do that, you choose the file to upload and then once you click upload video, it will upload it to YouTube and I've already tested it and it works just fine. What I actually want to do is automate this process so it pulls in the video video title, description, keywords from a document that I have rather than manually typing it because you can also do this through the YouTube platform. My next steps is actually automating that process so that I don't have to go through this tedious task every time I upload a video. I plan on using Cloud Code to help me build out my next app and to help me just build out features, help me understand frameworks that I'm using. Whether it's Cursor, Cloud Code, or ChatGPT, I recommend getting AI to help you, whether it's like encoding or just helping you answer some questions.
Okay, so I just finished work for the day. Today was basically just writing documents, researching. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, during this planning phase, it's a lot of collaboration and getting the necessary information that you need so that the team has everything they need to build out the next features and the next release. But yeah, today wasn't really eventful at all. I'm actually going out of town to visit family, so I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and make this space a little bit nicer. I really throw things around, and so I gotta get better at cleaning and making sure things are tidy. Like, I have this microwave here just sitting on the floor. I don't even have it propped up on the table. And then this Target bag just holding a few of my drinks. And some other more Target bags here filled with my protein snacks. So I finally got 10,000 steps today, as you can see. It's been pretty tough. I feel like I have to schedule in my walks every single day just to even get 10,000 steps since I'm just sitting at my desk. But anyways, as I mentioned earlier, I'm planning on using AI to help me with my workflow, whether it's in coding or in my other workflows I have, such as creating content. And the project I just showed you guys earlier is an example of, of leveraging AI to help me in my daily workflows. And I plan on using Claude and AI in different areas of my life, such as finances or helping me make decisions and just help me gather information and fill in the gaps for me so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys learned something and i'll keep you guys updated on my project that i'm currently working on which is still in development but since i have claude i'm planning to leverage ai to help me with the development process so that i can finish this project and roll it out to you guys marking it as the first of many projects to come i hope you learned something and that's about it